Okay, so if you want to create a video that is featuring a consistent character using the Sora 2 model, you have to utilize something called Cameo. But unfortunately, right now when I'm recording this video, this Cameo feature is only available if you're using the iOS version of Sora. So if you don't have an iPhone, well, unfortunately, this option is not available. So how about if we just upload the picture of the character or the person and then tell AI to make the person to do or say something in the video? Isn't that possible? Well, you can try that, but there is a good chance that you'll see this message it says that we currently do not support uploads of images containing photorealistic people. And this is actually a safety measure that is being implemented by OpenAI to uh, make sure that people are not using or abusing this AI tool to create a video of someone saying something or doing something that is not real. And while I can understand the reasoning behind that, unfortunately, this Cameo feature is not available for everyone. And even if it does, it is actually quite a hassle to set up because you can only uh, use your phone to scan the face and that means you have a limited option when it comes to the characters that you can use in a video. So the question is, is there a way to create a video using the Sora 2 model featuring a specific character or consistent character? Well, it is actually possible. There is one alternative way that you can try. It is not quite perfect, but it is doable. So one example is actually this video that you probably have noticed earlier. So this video is based on this photo. It is a photo realistic picture. It is a real person. And yet I can create this video. So the key here is actually the photo realistic keyword. And that basically means if you upload the same photo, but let's say the person now in a style of cartoon or anime or some 3D character, then there is a good chance that it will be accepted by the system. Like in this case, I was actually turning uh, the picture of the woman into a sort of anime style. And it is actually quite realistic. It is close enough to a real photo, but it is also not as realistic to the point that AI won't see that as a photorealistic picture. So that's basically the idea. And this is the step-by-step -step process that I'm going to use to create a video using the Sora 2 model, but featuring a specific character. So the first thing that you need to do is, of course, you have to provide a photo. And in this case, I'm going to be using this photo of a, a man that I have never seen before. So I'm going to download this to my computer. And I'm going to use the Gemini's Nano Banana to convert this photo into a sort of anime or maybe a painting style photo, which later will be accepted by the Sora 2 model. So let's navigate to Gemini.google.com. And I guess I'm going to just upload the photo directly into this website. Okay, now once the photo has been uploaded, uh, I'm going to use this AI prompt. Basically, I just want to transform this photo into a painting style. Now, you can use anime style or ca cartoon style. It's up to you. But I will go with painting because, you know, it is close enough. And later you'll see that it is actually uh, not very different than a realistic picture. Now, let me just click tools, click create images and send the message. So just wait for several seconds for Gemini to turn this photo into a painting style. Okay, just wait. And by the way, I think I have to mention that uh, some photos might need to use anime style. Some photos might need to use a cartoon or 3D cartoon style. Like in this example, I'm, I'm using anime style, but the, the same style might not work for this person. So every photo might need a different style to make it not look quite realistic. So that's one thing that you need to know. Anyway, we got this picture. I'm going to download this. And yeah, I mean, if you look this photo from afar, it might be close enough to be a realistic photo. But if you uh, look it uh, closely, then it, it is definitely a painting. Okay, now let's let me just go back to Sora and I'm going to upload this photo, uh, that man's photo. And this is the instruction that I'm going to tell to the Sora 2 model. Uh, convert this character into a realistic person and make him 
uh, do a review of the smartwatch that he is wearing in a UGC style sorry style video so that's the prompt that I'm going to use I think the most important part of this prompt is this section to convert this character into a realistic person now uh, you can select the aspect ratio and after that just send a message and hopefully it is not going to be rejected honestly I have no idea whether this picture is going to be accepted or rejected so I'm hoping that it will go through and I can I can show you the result okay let me just navigate to the profile and let's see if there is any rejection so far so good usually if the picture is rejected you won't see this option it just says hey this picture is uh, photorealistic you cannot use it but so far it is actually not being rejected so that's a good sign okay uh, the video is being processed and i'll just skip forward and show you the result okay awesome so the video has been generated and yeah i mean i can tell it is not a photorealistic video anymore but i think it's close enough and due to the nature of ai video which usually is not very sharp i think it can get away or pass as a real or you know a realistic ai video and by the way if you don't like the shimmering effect or the flickering effect in the ai video especially the one that, has, that was made by the sora 2 model i actually have made a video on how you can deal with the flickering issue in the videos from this AI model you can check it out on my channel but yeah that's basically it uh, to summarize essentially you have to convert the photo into a cartoon or anime or painting style and then you can upload that photo the uh, the one that has been stylized using Gemini back to Sora 2 and then tell it to uh, turn it into a realistic person and then after that you can describe what is the thing that needs to happen in the video so that's basically it that's how you can create a consistent character video using the Sora 2 model without utilizing the cameo feature thank you so much for watching and I wish you a great day ahead